Hey there, I'm Rob G, the uh, producer and director of The Cycle Legacy, and I am in the uh, apartment of Mr. Guy Thorpe, who uh, is probably one of the ultimate psycho collectors that I've ever met. And uh, he's going to give us a little tour of his place uh, right here in cabin number one. So, uh, you know, Guy, why don't you uh, okay. get us going? Let's see what we got here. Let's see who's in cabin one here. Let's see. Two cats staying in here. <laughs> oh, there's Norman. Whoa. Where did Norman come from? What's he made out of? He looks like he's plastic. Well, he's he's basically mounted on just a your average store mannequin, and uh, the, this was a mask sculpted by Henry Alvarez of Alvarez Wax Studios. Uh, just it's not using a life cast. He just sculpted it from photos. And uh, my friends Dave and Laura did the hair and the paint work, and these are David's hands. <laughs> a cast of his hands, and your typical plastic Halloween knife there, and grandma wig, but uh, that's that's about it, yeah. I have scared a couple of the neighbors in the apartment building though with him, uh, giving him the tour I forgot to mention he was here, and they'd go, oh my god, you know, and they see him. <laughs> so, I've unintentionally scared a few people. How long did it take you to kind of obtain some of this material? Well, we got the one sheets from one to four, this is a repro of course. Yeah. <laughs> um, but uh, basically, I bought these uh, when, as each film was released, the year they were released. I, I bought them, and the lobby cards to three and two, I bought uh, much later at a convention, horror convention. And uh, here's a picture of uh, Anthony with Mother at a 1988 Fangoria convention. We brought uh, Mother to the con. Unbeknownst to Anthony Perkins, he was quite surprised when he saw her again. And you actually have this mother, this mother corpse that was in the movie. Yeah, yeah, she's uh, retired, you know, from acting now, so she's, <laughs> she's, she's, she's here with me. We'll yeah. go to, we'll go take a look at her in a minute or two. Um, and I noticed you have a few autographs here. You have uh, Janet Lee and Anthony Perkins, so uh, I imagine you met Anthony at the convention appearance? Right, I met him at the 1988 convention and uh, got his autograph, and then I uh, got Janet Lee's autograph when she was... Uh, Signing her latest psycho book, Making a Psycho. Oh, okay. I don't think he had appeared at any other conventions. And uh, uh, I got to meet him backstage after he did his panel discussion. Uh, when I got the autograph, I just, just talked to him very briefly. Just, hi, I love your films. And in fact, I remember him asking when he autographed this, he, he asked me, he said, now, don't you want me to autograph this just Anthony Perkins? It'll be more valuable. And I said, no, I'd, I'd like you to put to Guy to my name because I said I'll never sell it. Wow. You know, so I, I had him, you know, put my name on it. Wow. Not many people are considerate like that. that now they'll charge you 20 bucks no matter what <laughs> is written on there. So. This is an actual piece from the Psycho House. That's a, one of the porch. Uh, Dare I, dare I ask how you got a porch piece? <laughs> oh, a friend of mine that worked at Universal, wh whom name will be anonymous, uh, got that for me. Uh, here's this a is the model. original model kit. Yeah, that's the uh, original garage kit that someone made before they authorized it through Polar Lights. Uh, it's the same kit, basically, and I just mounted it on the little mountain piece there. And the Psycho doll from uh, Movie Maniacs made that. What about this uh, postcard? Is that... That's a postcard from the uh, Wax Museum that's now gone, the Movie Land Wax Museum in oh, Boyne wow. Park. Yeah. That yeah was... I've never seen that before. It's pretty cool. Yeah. I remember seeing that in person as a kid. In this coffin is the actual mother prop that they dig up in Psycho 2, correct? Yes. Uh -huh. now, now, how did this come into your possession? Before we take a look at it, because I have not looked at it yet and I'm, I'm psyched. But how did you uh, had you obtain this this piece of memorabilia? Well, to make a long story as short as possible, um, I interviewed Michael McCracken, Senior, for a Halloween fanzine I was working on, and I saw Mother there at his studio and uh, took some pictures. And then about three years later, I just called him back out of the blue and said, "Do you still have Mother from Psycho 2? And he says, "Yeah, I, I kind of gave her to my son, but we still have her." And I, I said. Uh, would you by chance be willing to sell her you know, to me? And he says, well, let me ask my son. And so he got back to me in a day or so, and, and we made a deal, and uh, the rest is history. And she's got a coffin she is. Let's yeah. take a look at her. Okay, shall we? Mother, just to warn you, we have some company, okay? So don't, don't, be, don't be afraid. It's just some company. They want to see you. Wow. Now, what's amazing to me is, uh, 
at Mick Garris's house, he still has the mother prop based on Olivia Hussey sitting in his little desk there. So, oh, right. so that was the first thing I spotted, and I've seen that movie a million times. So to actually see the actual prop that I watched on my TV multiple times was just, it just blew my mind. So now to see this, I, this is the exact <laughs> angle too, when they open the coffin right here, yeah. You see mother in the grave. And I've I've carefully positioned her hands. I have a great one of a kind still of her from the movie, a unused publicity still, and I positioned the arms and the, the little little brooch there just right like it is in the movie. Well the best thing is she's a real skeleton. She's real. And they basically put the latex on her and then kind of baked her, I think, in an oven. He said I think I remember him saying. <laughs> and uh, the uh, and then they got the clothes put on her and kind of, you know, Buried the clothes for a week in dirt, and so they'd look authentic, you know. And, and uh, they even <laughs> probably not too many people would know this, but they actually put pubic hair on her. Wow, <laughs> it's there, believe me. <laughs> As a diehard psycho fan, that was a fact I did not need to know. Uh, so she was also used in Poltergeist, she was one of the corpses in Poltergeist, really, because Michael McCracken worked on that. Yeah, she was either the corpse that comes up out of the pool, one of those, or the corpse that comes up out of the by the front door and the coffin opens up. And she's, wow. She's wearing a pearl necklace. And, yeah, There's so. another little tidbit I never knew. Mother was yeah. in Poltergeist. Yeah. Go figure. <laughs>